Welcome back to the Cosmopolitan Sportsbook right here on the Las Vegas Strip. I'm Patrick Everson for Covers.com, joined once again by Jason Symbol, uh, Vice President of Risk Management for CG Technology, which operates this great book and several others around Las Vegas. Jason, let's talk a little college basketball, uh, you know, teams against the spread. We've got a couple teams that are high, you know, very high up in the rankings, looking very good heading into NCAA tournament time. They're doing well, very well at the spread. Yeah, there are. Obviously, Gonzaga has had a great year. Number one in the nation, hasn't lost yet. Undefeated uh, record and against the spread. Um, I think the number is 18 and four or 19 and four or whatever it is, and it's just been incredible. Betters have been all over them. We've actually had quite a good college basketball season from a books perspective so far, but the one outlier is Gonzaga, which has won the customers a lot of money. All right, how about Louisville's another team been pretty good to the spread? Are the customers jumping on that? Is that one you've noticed? Yeah, Louisville's been getting a lot of love uh, more recently because you know they kind of started the season off some turmoil from the prior year. Right. Um, I think they're 16 and seven against the spread so right. far this year, and and they've done very well. The ACC has been interesting because they've done really well. Florida State has done really well against the spread. Virginia also has done really well against the spread. But those generally aren't the more public ACC teams like North Carolina and, and Duke. I think Notre Dame also has a very good against the spread record this year as well. And you mentioned Duke. They happen to be one of the teams, obviously a very good team, a good win and cover last night against Virginia. But they have not been good at the spread overall, something like 5-10 and 10 in their last 15. Yeah, that, that's right. I mean, as I kind of mentioned, the ACC's had some really good against the spread teams, and that means somebody's got to take those losses. Right. So it, it's been uh, Duke's been very bad this year. I think Miami is one of the worst teams against the spread all season long as well. So those have been some of the teams that haven't done well, and even North Carolina, despite how well they've been, I think are, are have are about one game under the spread or maybe even 500 at this point. Right. So it, it's been uh, those teams have been uh, accumulating the, against the spread losses. Right, and, and shifting to the midsection of the blue blood in Kansas, they've had struggles as well. Have you seen people kind of lining up on the other side of that? Kansas has been very fortunate with very close wins. We saw them win by one point the other day. Um, they've been a, a very bad against the spread team, which has been very good for us. We, we've done the best to Kansas this year uh, than any other team. Throw UConn into that mix as well. Mm -hmm. People started the season really betting UConn and Syracuse, mm -hmm. who obviously are bad and play right. bad against the spread. But Kansas being bad has really been uh, a benefit to us, the book this year, uh, against the spread. All right, so we'll look at some teams that are uh, really good, all really good teams, but some of them a little better to the spread than others, obviously. Thanks again to Jason Simple for his insights. For Covers.com, I'm Patrick Everson. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a follow on Twitter, at Covers.